Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my top five Maybelline products. Yes, that's right. All week long I've been using Maybelline makeup and I have absolutely loved it and I have chosen my top five products and I will have to credit one of my lovely viewers with bringing this idea to my attention and it was Nelly from Aussie Land and I'm going to show her picture there. She is one of my wonderful viewers. She lives down in Australia. She said some of the higher end brands are kind of hard to come by in Australia so she asked that I do a full face of makeup with Maine L'Oreal or Revlon I think she said and so I chose Maybelline for this week and if you all have brands that you would like to see a full face tutorial on then please go ahead and post that in the comments below and I have a treat for you today because my wonderful friend Karen Hoyt is in town from Tulsa we've been shopping this afternoon and she is going to be applying Maybelline makeup right along with me so let me take off this makeup and we'll get started Okay, I have my friend Karen Hoyt here, and we have been shopping all afternoon, but now we're going to do some fun stuff with makeup. And I have been using Maybelline for the last week, and I love Maybelline products. Who knew? They really are good. And so we're going to start with the Maybelline Primer, and this is called Master Prime, and it is phenomenal. It looks a little bit like a Smashbox Primer. Here, I'll just put a little bit on there. And we're just going to put it all around our little faces here. Put it all over. Just put it all over, yeah. Well, didn't we all start off with Maybelline? Wasn't that the only thing at the drugstore when we yes. were teenagers? That and CoverGirl. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe Bonnie Bell was big, too. Because I was kind of a hippie girl, so Bonnie Bell, I like that. Remember I, Bonnie Bell? I think Bell? I'm older than you. <laughs> are you? How yeah. old are you? Well, I'm 61, but I don't oh, remember. Oh, you're not much older than well, me. I, I lived Just in, a little bit. Maybe I lived in a smaller town. We had Maybelline. Well, Cover Maybelline Girl. was good. And yeah. blue eyeshadow, did you start with blue eyeshadow? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my. And I, that, I thought that blue was fabulous. And white frosted lipstick, wasn't that Maybelline? Oh, yes, <laughs> a lot of frost. And pink. I did a lot of bright pink. Yes, of course. And ladies, the reason I love this primer, and I really do love this primer, because as you know, I use the Smashbox Pore Minimizer Primer almost exclusively, mm -hmm. but I was amazed at how great this was. It is supposed to blur out your pores, and I think it really does. It blurred it out. Plus, it has an SPF of 30, and so I put a lot of it on there, and I really feel like it is giving me good sun protection, which I really like. This week, I used three Maybelline foundations. I used this Fit Me, which I love this Fit Me. It looked fantastic, and I went to work, and the girls thought my skin looked really nice. I got compliments. And then I also use this Dream Cushion, the Maybelline Dream Cushion, which I love the Dream Cushion too. And then I also use this Maybelline Better Skin, which really looked good too. So why don't we use two of them? Why don't you use the Fit Me? Well, you know, I taught high school for years. Yeah. And I think of this as high school girls' makeup. But honey, it's good. And I'm a big girl now, and I yeah. tend to buy the higher end stuff. But, but it's good. Well, It's really good. Well, you know, I've seen it in the classroom and yep. on bus trips. I've seen this bottle yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's good stuff. But that's better coverage? I think? was amazed. It's very, very, very good coverage. Okay. In fact, what I'm using now is a little lighter coverage than what you've got on. Just put that all over. I like heavy coverage. I've got a lot of freckles. Okay, so this is meant for your skin, which you're a little bit more ivory than me. I yes. Think. Well, and once you get everything on, that's a little more golden on you, but once you get everything on, it'll look good. That is kind of strange how that works, because I see a lot of YouTubers who will put it on and it looks golden. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a very pretty finish for you, though. Well, I, like I think that. I think I'm about sold. I think like I'm already thinking I'm gonna go to the dime store. You they know? don't call it that anymore. What do they call Drug it? Drugstore. <laughs> Drugstore. Drugstore makeup. But I I was truly amazed at how great this makeup looked, and I wore it all week long, and I would go in every day and say to the girls this primer is fantastic or this mascara. I'll show you the mascara. The mascara is amazing. Okay, and another thing light. you can do, no, but I would just do this and just buff this around. <laughs> I've been using, I've been using this brush instead of, I have been using the Clarisonic brush, but I love, I love this little Real Techniques well, brush. I see you do it on your YouTubes and so I yeah. get my brushes out and I, I try it. I don't, I don't feel like I look as professional as you, Beth. Oh, you do. This, this light, doesn't the light help? The light's kind of beautiful. I think, think so. I think oh, but you're, nice. you're beautiful in any light. Mm. It's your heart. <laughs> <You're a sweet laughs> thing. And this is my spiritual, wonderful friend, ladies. I mean, I'm not kidding. This girl knows her We're stuff. sisters. <laughs> I know. 
We are. This is fun. And, and the next little wonder worker, the first one was the primer, and the second one is this concealer. And this is an amazing concealer, ladies. I could not believe this. Does it say wonder worker on there? It does. Does it really? In, this, in the fine print, it does. No, really. In my, so I bought this for my granddaughters. This is good. I did. This and is called of, Age and, Rewind, and it really works. In fact, they liked it because it had the little palm thing on it. Yes, the little, and the little sponge, and they loved so it. So I'll put it on first, and, and then again, I'll let you put it on. Listen to me, I'm talking about it like it's a, a, a teenage girl's makeup. Here you go. You can put that on there, and I'll get you your own little brush. And here's your little brush, and here's my little brush. Okay. And I use just a little foundation brush. Okay. And this covers to me almost almost as well as my Tarte Shape Tape, which is amazing. Because, as you know, if you've watched my channel, I never deviate from the Tarte Shape Tape. But look at the coverage that I got on that. And as many of you know, I have this incision that I'm still dealing with for another six months or so from that Mohs surgery. And this actually covers it up almost as well as my Derma Blend. Oh my you said this was my sanctuary, which yes, is really sweet. Is. This it's is kind of like my sanctuary. Oh, it's a sweet place. I know. I All like right. it. It's How my is room. my blending? Looks very, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> There. You look great. Everybody in the whole world should get to come sit here. Okay. Okay. You look awesome. I feel pretty. Okay. Well, you look beautiful. Uh, this is a pretty feeling room. You just it feel is. pretty in here. Yeah. You do. Because we're we're all beautiful. Yeah. We're, we're letting beautiful. our spirit come out. That's Absolutely. Yeah. That's the most important thing. And this lady is very, very spiritual. I mean, I'm not kidding. Whenever I'm down, I call. She lives in Tulsa and I live in Wichita. But whenever I'm down, I call you. I know. And you probably don't know that I've just called you because I'm down and something bad has happened. But... You just always give me the right scripture and... Or start singing and see prayer knows no boundaries. She knows scripture. I know, I do. I've got the word. She does. Yeah. She's got the word. She's got the word, 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 word. Down, down in, in my heart. heart. <laughs> down in her heart. Okay. Okay. Enough of that for now. Okay. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is eyeshadow. And this is the third Maybelline Wonder Worker. <laughs> this was amazing. I could not believe this. Because I am a snob when it comes to eyeshadow. I really think that high end is about it. And I was thinking... People talk about Milani being great and CoverGirl being great, and I'm sorry, they're not great compared to like a Tarte or compared to like a Too Faced. You know, those are great eyeshadow brands, but this is fantastic. This is the Maybelline The Nudes, and I have been using this all week, and I love this. Okay, here you go. Okay, I'll take the e.l.f. brush, and I'll give you the, I'll give you the Sigma. It's going to go in her lid with that little shiny color right there. I'll okay. load you up there. Tap it off. There you go. And then you're just doing it... And I wish you had just your own. Just on the lid. Yes, just on the lid. Okay. And what I do, just in case there's fallout, is I stick my hand under there. But with the Maybelline, I really haven't noticed any fallout. I used a terrible, the Urban Decay New Palette. Yes. I think it's called yes. On the Run. I bought oh. those for my granddaughters. Oh, what, don't even Don't even buy them for myself. Oh. They're so expensive. Don't buy them for yourself. So I'm taking powder? it back. Really? Super amounts of powder. But, you know, a young girl might like those bright colors. But they did not work for me. But then you can use the same brush. Okay, let me know. Are you are you there yet? I think so. I may not have gone. Okay, let me see. I... Okay, let me do a little more. That looks pretty on you. It's really a very nice lid shade. Okay, now we're taking this color here, which is this little light peach. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to use that, tap that off, just dip in there, as a little bit of the brow color right there. There you go. You can kind of look in this little mirror over here if you can see it. Okay, take this little small brush, take a little small brush, and then you're going to dip, we're going to dip back in, we're going to dip back into this little color here. Dip. And then we're just going to do a little bit on the inner corner. You might have to look in this mirror to do that. Yeah, just dip, get a pretty good amount on there. Okay. And dip that in that corner. Load it up. Load it up, yeah, really get it in there. And we're going to dip. And you're gonna you're dipping all in the corner. I am. I'm I'm trying to get it as as pigmented as I can. And it does pretty well for Maybelline shadow. I mean, I was really pretty amazed. So that's how it's looking so far. Yeah, a little more on the yeah. Do a little more. You didn't do the other side yet, did you? No. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do the other side. You make this look so easy when I'm watching you on your videos, when I'm home. You well, make thank it look, you. Well, but then I try. I'm experimenting so much more than I used to. Well, it's fun. It is. It's That's, a lot of fun. It is fun. Okay, now we're going to go in on the crease color. Let's go ahead and use this little crease color that is right here and get a good amount on your brush and tap it off. 
and then you're just going to do a little moon motion above your crease because all of our creases as we get older they start to sag so we want to bring up those hooded lids and go clear in the inner corner and do a little crescent keep dipping in Okay, now you're going to go in the outer corner. How to do? And you did great. It looks good. But go in the outer corner and maybe put your little hand here in case it, you get any fallout. But just kind of use your brush like this in the outer corner, just a little circle. The idea is to make that into a V, and that little elf brush will kind of make it into a V for you. And I've been wearing this shadow all week long, and it stays on all day long. Well, I noticed when I saw you earlier today, when we first saw each other, I noticed how fresh your makeup was, and, and that was midday. Yes, and I had put it on this morning at like 6.30. I am amazed at these Maybelline shadows. And I have used some of their little tiny palettes, you know, the, the two, the dual palettes, and they're not as pigmented as this particular palette. This is a very, very good palette, this one called the Nudes. Well, I'm going to go run out and buy one. It's pretty good. I like it. Okay, now we're going to go in with that same color. Mm -hmm. and tap it off. Now you're just going to do a little line underneath just with a little bit of that brown. You don't use any eyeliner. Um, I'm going to use a little bit. But we do this on the first? Top. Yes, we do this first. And I'm, I'm getting a little under there. You're just giving yourself a little kind of a shadow. My eyelashes used to be a little bit thicker. I know, mine and too. now on the outer edge, you know, they've just kind of thinned out. A little yep. Bit. So then you do a little little V. Just use your little brush to kind of make that V a little more. Okay, how's it looking? Looks good. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Let me do a little bit more. Okay. okay, I'll give you a little bit more. Okay, I think that looks good. Do you think that looks okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, now we're looking a little bit greasy, at least I am, for sure. And I'm going to use this Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. And I love this stuff, too. Is it Wonder I mean, I'm not kidding. No, it's just called Master Fix. Master Fix. And I'm going to shake it out here. Whoa, i got a lot there. But we'll, we're going to use the same brush. But I'm just going to go in and kind of bake myself a little bit. Well, if you've got dry skin, do you want to do that? Will it settle in the creases? Um, actually, I think you're probably okay if you just keep it to the center of your face. Okay. I think you're probably okay. Well, that's the key. And then a little bit down on your neck. Doesn't that feel good? That's that a brush really soft good. brush, yeah. I don't know what that is. That's a no name. Really? Okay, did you get enough? Yes. That's what I love about you is that... It's a br it says bronzer on it. <laughs> but it's, well, you, it's talk about, you talk about high-end stuff. Okay. Everyday, everyday stuff that everybody uses, you know? Yeah. That's what I love about you, too. Well... No, I, no I like name. things that are not expensive. Okay. It used to kill me whenever I would run out of my CoverGirl blush that I bought the same one for years, and it would be $5. I mean, I thought, ooh, that's expensive. That's so crazy. I know. I know. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do before we do blush and lips is we're going to go in and finish off the eyes with some eyeliner and some mascara off camera. Okay.